So I was checking the pond this morning, and I was like, aw, a cute little frog. And then I got a closer look, and I was like, wait, no, I think that's a toad, and he's not supposed to be here. I had to be super careful grabbing him. I did not want to scare him back into the water and lose him. But once I got a good grip, I was like, yep, this is definitely a toad. His skin's like really rough, and he doesn't feel anything like a frog. And when he looked up at me with those big ol' eyes, I instantly fell in love and decided to name him Dr. Todd. I went ahead and put him back on dry land, and then I waited around for a few minutes, and Dr. Todd hippity hoppity away back to safety. So a friend gave me their betta fish, and this is the bowl it's lived in its entire life, and I think we can do a lot better. In my last video, you can see I got a free 10-gallon tank off the side of the road, and I think that's going to be a perfect habitat for this fish. I've set up a lot of tanks before, but I had a new idea on how to do it totally different, and I really hope this works out. I wanted to incorporate the bowl the fish had been living in, so I decided to make an open underwater aquarium terrarium. Instead of doing a completely planted tank like I'm used to, I decided to put all the plants in the bowl in the middle. So the idea is that the beta, or as some people like to say beta, can swim around in the densely planted area or also open free space. I know some people give betas caves to hide in, but I thought if the plants were thick enough, he could also get that hidden security from there. I decided adding some driftwood would be a really nice touch, as well as giving him more things to interact with. For me personally, the most important part of building a tank is that balance between aesthetic pleasure and also making sure the fish has all the requirements for a happy home. I'm going to run a filter to get rid of the muddy mess, so come back to see the final product. So I decided to win a goldfish at the fair because I have a 10 gallon tank I've been mean to set up and I knew he would already have a home. This is how it went. First off, I thought winning a goldfish was going to be easy. This is way harder than it looks and it did not take me long at all to get super, super frustrated. And because I was frustrated, I did start talking a little smack, but you know, it's okay. It's a voiceover, so I can still look like an angel. I'll go ahead and out myself. I never got a ball in. I had to pay the guy $5 for a fish. And then he came over while I was filming and just kind of assaulted my fish. As far as the whole concept of fair fish go, I'm not even going to say I support it. I was just happy to win one because I know I can give it a good life. And I feel like that's better than someone winning it and it going home to die. 